Kevin's driver who didn't want to stop as the biker tried to pass him. Because of this, he hit the back tire and the biker fell together with his passenger. All hell broke loose after that fall. Oh man, why would he do that, bro? You see all the bikers? Why would he do that? Would he do that? See his mother? The oh, it's fools like that, I would've stuck my hand in there. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna roll up that Bro, way. yeah, I would've. Your fingers have been all crushed in that mug. Yo. Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Bobby Osso. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kid Fisto. Being y'all that friend. Once again, we got Road Rage. Biker Fights. New Clips 2022. 2022. So it's, it is dated a little bit back, but it's not too far back that we can't react. Big facts. What you uh, got to say about this one, my brother? Man, I'm excited to see what's good with it. Um, Hopefully that some of these bikers fight back, but some of y'all be tripping. Tripping. Some of y'all bikers be tripping, man. Tripping. Um, you know, we can't see y'all sometimes, and y'all be tripping and acting like we're supposed to stay 100 feet behind you when it's in 5, five o'clock traffic, you feel what I'm saying? But most of the time, I do agree with y'all, you feel what I'm saying? People be tripping on y'all, so um, shout out everybody who be on the road like that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out y'all. What you got to think about it, bro? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't fully agree, but I do believe that it is dangerous to be on a bike. I can't agree with you on that. Yeah. But I do have a brother. You know, uh, I got family members. All got bikes. Um, and they really push them. You feel me? I've never really yeah. been, like, into it like that. But I have, like, ridden bikes. You know what I'm saying? They know how to ride. And it's active. Yeah, saying. they know how to ride. But, yeah. you, but, but you might be able to drive. You might be able to ride. Mm -hmm. But the other person... Might not be able to, so it's still just as dangerous. Yeah. So that like we we do recommend taking extreme caution when riding a bike, you know, especially or driving a car. You know, uh, don't be under the influence. Don't don't be um, toe up and impaired. You feel me? Where you're putting other people's lives at stake, especially when you do have bike bike drivers that have a small um, automobile, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like, it's it's on two wheels. I can squeeze between cars and get to my destination that much faster? Yeah. Don't be mad at me, mother... Peace! Because yeah. y'all niggas is, 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 is stuck in traffic. Nigga, I'm in and out. Yeah, that's 100%. I'm in and out. Yeah, I'm weaving in and out. Well, you not, feel me? Weaving nah, yeah, nah, even in the car, yo. <laughs> in the car, this fool bad. Hey, look. Hey, you too, bro. Hey, you too, man. So, hey, listen. Hey, I'm the only one. We all be doing this. Listen. You're gonna throw me under the bus. Ah, oh, it's all good, man. This is all bad. Man, look, all of this is is enjoyment for y'all. This is entertainment. You feel me? Well, like we joke around off camera, and we like to get the same thing on camera. Okay. So we gonna joke. We gonna give y'all comedy, humor, all that. But we also gonna give y'all good raw emotion. You feel me? So since we're speaking on emotion, you trying to bring him in? Let's bring him in the road. Rage. Rage! Listen, because <laughs> some of y'all be, be tripping. Yeah. Welcome back to yet another episode of Maxi May Channel. By the way, this time, also, we don't condone special. violence this or any illegal activities. Back. You know what I'm saying? Not at Welcome all. Welcome back. Of course, Not it's not always mean physical fight. It can be a verbal one as well. Make yourselves comfortable, because you'll surely enjoy this one. All right, let's see what's going Always ask for a little before you say anything. The Santa Claus can have a bad day, and this is how it looks like when he's not in the mood. Mood. Go back to your pump and pump your You motherfuckers get Back off from me, dude. I'll stick you. That fool's beard? He got two chins, bro. He got two different. He got two beards. Two different chins. And it's just clear down the middle. Ain't nothing here. Look at it, bro. Like two legs. He out there in the rain in some sandals and shorts. Oh, you know he told him. Him sandals. You know he told him. He in the rain in sandals. You That's gotta be in Florida. Know, That's it. Lay down on the ground. Get back to your shit, bro. Go back to your shit. Go back to your shit. Shout out to the biker for not knocking him out. Yeah, for real. Fortunately enough, the biker managed to pull it together before doing something regretful. He got yeah, there from bike, Shout out to the biker. And he moved on with his day. Yeah, what? Okay, now. 
Kevo's driver who didn't want to stop as the biker tried to pass him. Because of this, he hit the back tire and the biker fell together with his passenger. All hell broke loose after that fall. Oh, man. Why would he do that, bro? You see all the bikers. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? See his mother? The oh, as fools like that, I would have stuck my hand in there. No, he could yeah, no, I'm just gonna roll up that Bro, way. yeah, I would have. Your fingers have been all crushed in that mud. Yeah. Don't be scared now. <laughs> oh, he stabbed me. What happened? I'm not sure. I mean, they must have done something like hit the car or something. No, I saw that, but it looked like it was doing something. She was covering it, look. That's a lot of bikes. It was a really bad situation for both parties. Both in the driver's recklessness he and his feelings who got the better out of him here. But when you look at it objectively, no one got injured in the end. And that's the most important thing that matters. Yeah, yeah it is, but I just broke. You feel me? The mother's got to be, hold on. Yes, the mother's got to be held accountable, though. Yeah. You you hit me in any way? Okay, I'm slow. Go around. Or you should have, you should have left 10 minutes earlier. You would have been in front of me. Yeah. That's not my fault. Yeah. You feel me? At the end of the day, not enough for you to, like, physically hit me. You feel me? We getting down. Yeah. He lucky, because I would have been punching all through that window. Yeah. Like, uh, dog, his doors would have been dented. I would have kicked it in so bad, bro. Yeah. It would have been up. Yeah, I would have gotten in trouble. You feel what I'm saying? I would have ended up being the one who got in trouble in that situation. Making it go further than it should, you're saying? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I, mean, I definitely would have been the antagonist in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> Buh, buh. Yeah, for sure. I'd have hopped up. Boom! I'd have been. Boy, I look, but he'd have had to report it. <laughs> he'd have caught a total loss. He'd have caught a total loss. Hey, yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's hey. us, man. Two times. Hey, for sure. My dog. Arizona. Okay. It'd be hot to the mug out there. Shout out AZ. It'd be hot, bro. I gotta take you out there one time, bro. Man, y'all got scorpions and y'all sandals. I'm nah, I should not. <laughs> Scorpions and sandals. They be saying you gotta check your shoes before you put them on because. Well, yeah, but, you, but not sandals. You can see through sandals. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm gonna check the sandals. <laughs> but the shoes, though, you do. You um, definitely do. Um, what pump am I on? So that's it right there. The red car is now. That was fast. The guy just sitting there to burn gas. Did I just see somebody burn gas? No, you think I was sitting there to burn gas, or you, or you, you think I was waiting on a pump? No, I've seen you behind this vehicle. Seriously? Yeah. You can see how rude this driver is towards the bike. He's confused. He's like, I'm confused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I didn't see him wait for the pump. Someone. But we wanted a little bit so we can just to verify yeah. what they talk about. See how rude this like, to when he came no. in, so we can at least see. Like, I don't mind watching another 10 seconds of it. All right. Back to like, yeah. like 10 bucks or something. A few minutes. Okay, so he was waiting on her while boy was yeah, waiting on the other one. Like yeah. 10 bucks or something. And he pulled up. He pulled up like he did something wrong? And on pump. Bro, what, what are you tripping about? You ain't do nothing. Uh, What's up? You think I was just sitting there to burn gas? Did I just see somebody burn gas? No, you think I was sitting there to burn no, gas? Geez. Did I see somebody burn gas? I was waiting on a pump. <laughs> no, I've seen you behind this vehicle. Seriously? Yeah. You can see how rude you are. Are you serious? Yeah, you were behind that. Yeah. You can always politely ask to catch your gas if you were there before someone. But no, this driver had to act like a small guy. And because of that, it went down oh, like what? this. A small guy, yeah. Are you asking to use the pump? Why would he act like a small guy? I'm asking to use it. No, yeah. I was waiting on one of these pumps to clear out. No, you were waiting for this nobody pump. You were behind. Right. You, you could have pulled up and right. asked me to use the pump, but you were behind this vehicle, man. But you see nobody in the car, right? You see nobody in the car. It's not my fault nobody's in the car. Yeah, you say you okay, go ahead. Right. No, I'm saying he could have asked me to use the gas. I mean, he's behind this vehicle. Obviously, he's waiting for this one. Right. Go and put your gas. Like, what the f***? He's just having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. big of a deal. You could have asked me like a human being to use the pump. But no, you want to say, am I burning gas? The biker now decided That's to crazy. purposely take his time pumping his gas because of the way he got treated by the driver. Yeah, I'll be this taking my sweet time. Yeah. That being good gets you only as pump. And if I go back in... And then re-pump again? Yep. 
Excuse you. You walking up on me, dude. Back up. Ah, what the hell? For real. You well, mad over a like gas that. pump, bro? Grow up, dude. He'd have been that close yeah, to Timmy, bro. He, he wouldn't have gotten that close to Bubba Timmy. Yeah, yeah, for real. By the time he got within reaching yeah, distance. Bam. What's up, bro? Yeah. yeah. That one hit him. You feel me? Like, uh, not if I don't feel like he coming at me. But, I don't know, what's up, bro? What's good? You straight? No. No, you straight? Then I'm already, then it's on go time. Yeah. Tell me, hit you before you hit me. For sure. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm, uh... Oh, well, safety. Um, wait till they hit What's you. Self-defense. The There's nothing behind me, you Whoa! Oh, is he gonna smash the mirror? Whoa! Why you get up on him like that? What happened? Oh, he smashed the uh, driver's mirror. Why? Because they cut him off, apparently. Oh! He came out of blue and immediately accused them of illegal parking. What? Oh, it'll be fine. I'm sure it will. I think it'll be okay. Okay. See you later. Okay. Bye. At first, it looked like something <laughs> trivial. But he just parked in a handicap spot. Does he even have handicap parking? With the bikers. Whoa! Are you not having oh, a good day, sir? Hey. Oh, I'm not. Why not? People parking in f***ing parking, they're not supposed to. People we have to commend these bikers for showing a really mature way of handling a situation like this. Most people would strongly argue back immediately, and God knows what could have happened. See, I'm getting the, Not these guys. I'm getting aggressive. Move your part. Move it. Now. Relax. Hey, relax. Am I stopping you? Yeah. No, you do. You have the <laughs> part there. You argue with me. Now move the thing before I call the <laughs> Now we are threatening with calling the cops? Yeah. Oh, really? My yeah. thing is mother... You yelling the entire time? Yeah. The bikers are not the You yelling at me to move some And hey, you won't even let me, like, explain to you what's going on? Oh, no, man, get your on, bro. Call the cops. Yo. What? Oh, man, I'm getting hot watching this, bro. Oh, man. I'll do that, man. This, man. Oh, come on. No, I don't. Am I disabled? We've got a bad over here. Uh-oh. You two feet tall, bro. Real quick, you two feet Real tall. Real quick, so I took those t- <laughs> I'm like, I thought this nigga was a big old white man, like a big, big, tall white man. This fool jumped out like. <laughs> <laughs> the shock in his legs when he hopped out, you know? <laughs> you know when you jump off of like a tree or something? <laughs> when you've you been sitting there for a minute man. and your legs hurt, you're like, ah! You know, yeah, that's it! <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. That was funny. Hey, man. Be safe. Be safe out here doing... <laughs> hopping out of the wrong people, man. Be safe, for real. You don't know what people got. I don't get it. I'm a 23-year disabled Marine Corps and I don't give a shit. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, He's it's small. okay. <laughs> oh, man. He's in Marine Corps. Go ahead. Yeah, that both of them. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Relax. You'll be okay. The whole thing to do is stop arguing with me and move. Hey, relax. Relax. Move and then I relax. Everything will be okay. Relax. I'll be like, I'm gonna make your jaw relax, bro. It's like some people are really bored. Man, no, that's an old man, man though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a uh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not going go back and forth, bro. You feel I ain't moving my f***ing no white man. I'm crazy out your mind. What? Hell no. Talk white man, come up to me talking about something. Nah, you better don't argue with me. You move. This motherfucker is 1850. What? Welcome to 2030. Wow. I'm a sock demon to the future. He had a walk up from a cop and said, oh. The last thing I remember was. <laughs> call him. Yeah, for real, call him, bro. She said, oh, my God, I love you. He been standing out there for yeah. over 15 minutes. Dealing with this fool, bro. Yeah. It was like I, like, I was just trying to go to the mall, get my shirt, and leave. 
By the time this ended, he probably could have been in and out of here. Yeah. But this this old hunky door punk motherfucker want to mess with me. Want to call his cause the issue. But apparently, Santa was having a throw over. Call him. He just re- the cops just told him he was wrong and they could park there. Yeah. No, 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 hold on. You might as well go at a stop sign and just, like, stand there. And anybody who just drives by and doesn't stop, go after them. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's not worth your time. If you want, we can move it. We, I will move my bike if it's really that big of a deal for you. It's all up to you to do whatever you want to do, not to follow the law. Actually, you're doing that. I'm not in anybody's way. I'm not. You kind of are. I got my That's great. If this is supposed to be no parking. Well, actually, it's allowed here. It's no parking. But it's allowed. The police just said you can park there. So it doesn't matter. No, because it's private parking. And they're okay with it. From what I figured out, this is a private parking lot, and the owner is okay with the bikers parking. Man, all that time dealing with this fool, man. You could have been in the H and M and got your new outfit. You feel what I'm saying? Because you look like you need one. They've been parking here for years. I've never had a problem. You know what? When I start seeing situations like this, I'm gonna start calling them. Because they're ignorant. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing up here. I don't know. So, this guy just pulled up on us out of nowhere. Started screaming and yelling, cussing, yeah, telling us this is a big hero so, coming over. Um, would you please just tell him just to leave us alone? We're not messing with anybody. We're not doing anything. And you guys are allowed to park here. We are. Yes. I'm sorry I'm trying to be nice to you. I said thank you. Case closed. The security officer's right here. He thank just you. said we're allowed to park here. There you go. You said that too and you're wrong. This says no parking. Hey, he works here. Yeah. I think he knows what he's talking about. We're not the police security guard. Okay, so how does the partner like to park in here? There's no sign and I don't want to. It's really mind-boggling how stubborn. He just don't want to be wrong. I don't think there is any. So he, he wants to argue until he finds a point where he's right. But no, in a he's wrong, bro. Like this, so I'm not gonna find out. This is unreal. Mind your own business. Life is so much better. Or you remove these lines, but because this one's bigger than that one, no, that doesn't work, and you know it. It looks like Santa Claus's Rudolph was not leashed. The biker told him that it's illegal to have his dog run around unleashed in this parking lot. This is about to turn into a prime comedy, guys. Watch. Oh, my bad. Hi. I'm gonna steal your dog, sir. Hey, you should put him on a leash. I think that's illegal. <laughs> Sorry for wasting your time. Apparently, other people don't either. That is the pure hey, definition no for that. of ignorance, my Relax. God. The word that y'all made up. Go. Bye. See you later. Pure definition of ignorance. The word that y'all been calling us for 200 years. You leave me alone, man. Then bye. You bugged us. It looks like the whole thing backfired on this poor guy. Yeah, he may got a wrong boy. told him that he can't be there and that there is nothing he could do to the bikers because they did nothing wrong. Bye. See you later. Hey, good idea. Every time I try to talk, you can go. Bye. 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 The bikers now really seem to be enjoying this. Like at first, it was about the space, then you got home. Now you want to argue that he was like, why you wasn't wrong. That's crazy. <laughs> or why you were wrong. You want to argue with us why you were wrong. Bye. I don't care why you was wrong, fool. You're wrong. See you later. Wrong. I don't give a Bye. I owe you an explanation. Go we don't got to talk, bro. Shut up. To move the bikers away so he could talk. You go away. away. But no. The oh bikers God. stayed there because they were afraid of leaving their bikes on this parking lot unguarded. 350 it's years of slavery. You really think that you about just to just giving him a taste talk of to his us own like Any type of way. Sure, dog. another biker comes to park in this allegedly illegal parking place. Oh boy, and this no, is really right. a show now. <laughs> is that another bike? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he ran in a bike! Is that a random person? Who is that? Yeah, I, I, I doubt really him. Bad day. I, I guess. really wanted to buy him a milk. He's bag, mad, I think he bro. needed that, but. He is no. mad ass. So did he get <laughs> time? <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> He's mad, bro. I did not expect another person to put. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! Ain't no <laughs> He 
called him back over there? And blocking traffic too, huh? Right? Why he don't get no ticket then? Counter, uh, uh, counter, or a counter action or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Counter action lawsuit, mother. And the bikers were allowed to keep their bikes parked there. Have you guys ever? Not lawsuit, but counter action. Yes. Please arrest or whatever. Yeah. In the comments below. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Like, <laughs> sorry about that. I can't believe that dude just that <laughs> you wasted all that time. I'm practicing. You're old, bro. You ain't got much time. Left. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get balance point down. These bikers gathered at an empty parking lot to practice wheelies and have some fun, but they didn't expect their day to turn out this bad. <laughs> it's empty. Are we bothering you? You have something else to do? Here, we'll, uh... This is my backyard. Sorry. Uh -huh. my going up and down and up and down. This angry old guy came out of nowhere, and he started to film these bikers who were enjoying themselves for some reason. So you do whatever you want. I'll just do what I do. Okay, we can just leave. What the... F what's the issue? Yeah, yeah we can just leave. Pulling Apparently, this biker lady got upset the most out of the whole group because of this old guy's behavior. He took pictures and filmed the bikers even though they proposed to leave if they bothered him. For what? For what? Yeah, I'll be like, you running up on me, bro. That's it. You don't have to come up here and take pictures. Just tell us to leave. Do you live right here? You do whatever you want. We're not on your property. We're not in your yard. From the looks of it, the bikers tried to be cooperative and understanding the whole time, as you can see yourselves. They told this old guy that they could simply leave if they bothered the him. They didn't oh, want no. to cause a commotion or any sort of... He probably wouldn't have called you. You have to be weird. You have to be that... Dude. I'm a weird... Dude, now? Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? You're, I'm a weird dude. Why are you Get being weird? Bike, You're the one taking why, pictures. Why are you sitting here taking pictures? Why are you being, why are you Get being weird? I'm getting off the bike. What's up? We can just leave and you can be cool. You got that a bandage on his head. Idea, my biker buddy. Unfortunately, there is no reasoning with an angry old Darren. He woke up. And like they got the film said, all on camera. Like, all right, they they, they got the mummy all on camera. Yeah. So that's solid. Do you know that? You don't know that, do you? I don't know anything. I know, obviously. You got a mark on your head to prove you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh. That's cold. We'll see you later, What do you guys think about this crazy encounter? And that's how would wild. you handle this type of situation if you found yourselves in it? I'll probably just leave in that situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of there, man. I'm not. Oh! Wow, you piece of Now, I don't know what side I'm on because he looked like he going like 100 miles an hour. I ain't going to front. But maybe I'm tripping. I can't tell. On a bike, it's a little different. Yeah. He... The lady in the vehicle had a clear view of the biker approaching, and she did the worst possible thing a driver can do. She decided to stop in the middle of the road instead of committing and moving on. You almost killed me! You piece of Hey, I'll be here. Nigga, what? You stopped in the road! Yeah, she did just stop. Why would you stop in the road? The biker was clearly upset, as you can hear. But to be honest, he was driving fast here as well. Do that! No sorry, no nothing! So you decided to stop? At first, the biker came in fuming at the lady because of her poor reaction. And when things looked like they are about to go out of control, it quickly changed when the lady apologized. In front of me! You should have committed to your gone through or not done it! You stopped! That is not okay! Uh 
Water and fifty miles. First of all, it's a straightaway. Second of all, you saw me clearly. You still cut out, but instead of committing and going over, you stopped. That's all I wanted. So she got nervous. That's what happened. Yeah. She didn't purposely. No, I get like, that. I was going kind of fast. Stop I was going, to do fast, I was going like, kind of fast. Stop. Oh, I'm There's still plenty enough time to see somebody. Time. Yeah, yeah, down there, yeah. If you look twice, you need, especially on these roads, because all these empty drives, these blind drives. I wasn't going too fast, though. I know we're near as fast people go down this road. I don't know so, first of all, based on that speed, you can see me clear as day all the way down there. I have bright, hyper bright LED lights also. <clears throat> The lady kept it calm and cool despite the biker's furious verbal assault. Yeah, I think they're so both other things. She reacted like this. A lot of people would argue back no matter who was right and who not because yeah, they simply yeah. got yelled. That's a tough situation right there. In this situation, they're both wrong. Yeah. It just goes to show you what but she made, she made a mistake that could have cost him his life. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's at the bottom. Like, like the bottom line is she, she did make a mistake of stopping. Yeah. If, if if he was going so fast, she could have pushed on the accelerator and, and pushed through, and then then he would have been wrong, and she could have yeah, actually you're, chased you're him down. There, love. Can I give you one piece yeah. of advice? You know, I give you advice. First one, most important, especially in this damn state. Use your blinker all the time. Well before you come to your turn, your blinker should be on before your brakes are on. Second of all, when you go to make a turn, you see another car coming, the worst possible thing you can do is Jeez. stop. Just go through and get the hell out the way as fast as you can. You would have been straight in that situation. <laughs> Thank you, know, you so much, like... and I apologize too. I, I didn't mean to... A simple apology can really make all the difference. Yeah. The biker calmed down, and in the end, even gave the lady a couple of pieces of advice. It all ended well. Come off my ass, screaming and yelling, I'm so sorry. You probably scared her. She Thank is. you she so much. She, 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 she probably going through it through that, that, that situation. When it comes to this episode of I know that was my mouth there, nigga. I done, nigga, caught a light jaw. Like, Sandy, what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, what's man. What's the deal? Who you talking to, homeboy? Yeah. You feel me? Like... You know what's the deal? What's going on? But that was fire, man. That was a fire video, bro. What did you think about it? I think it was dope, bro. Um, and my bad, I wasn't trying to combat you earlier on like the censorship thing. Um, like in that situation, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been calling us that word for so long, mm -hmm. but then you want to you the definition of that word. By y'all's definition is ignorance. Exactly. That old man pulled up there was completely ignorant of the situation that they're allowed to park there. Very and, 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 was, and even the way that he handled it. Yeah, but it was just the entire thing was just ignorance. Yeah, it was ignorance, but my bad on that, brother. Uh, oh, you good? You good? But, uh, other than that, you know, it was a really eye-opening video too because it can go to show that some bikers can be in their own too. Um, in my opinion, in that last video, it looked like homeboy was going about 75, 80 miles an hour down the back road. That's probably fifty-five. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you feeling yourself? It's a nice day outside, you know, but. Um, you got to watch out for them cars because there are ladies like that that are going to be scared. You know, when they're turning, they're trying to turn in. They all of a sudden, something's coming 100 miles an hour at them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then also, you got to be vigilant about that, too, because you're risking your life. You know what I'm saying? Very true. Um, but other than that, uh, y'all also got to really stop testing these bikers when you're above the age of 60 years old because half of them is going to yeah, get in with you. They're going to get down with you. Um, and there's a lot of videos of that, you know. But, um Really dope video, um, comedy, you feel what I'm saying? Shout out Gandalf in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Um, he was with the functions, but yeah. Uh, what you think about it, my brother? Mm, I do respect that a lot. Mm. Uh, a great, 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 great uh, review on that. Now, what I think, I will go so far as to say, uh, I thought it was good. It was very entertaining. Um, that was a big highlight uh, uh, in a lot of situations was just how wrong people can be and then how it's such a thin line between who's wrong and who's right yeah. very very thin line but a hundred percent as y'all seen uh uh in in the last uh clip comparing to everything else there was an apology and it calmed down the entire situation to the point they both were apologizing to each other mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? After one person apologized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what you don't do is, like I said, is what that that white was doing. He sat there. He knew he was wrong. He knew he was wrong. Not only was he told he was wrong when he called. Didn't he call the police? They told him he was wrong? Yeah. Then the security guard came out because obviously, I mean, it's his job. He's not wrong for like, like he didn't like go get in their business as like a thing. Yeah. But they're arguing, oh boy, uh, um, with, uh, with beer. Yeah. He was the whole time. They're like, listen, this is what it is. Da 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 da. I'm explaining it to you very calmly. Which how aggressive you coming at me? I got every right to knock your fucking down. Yeah, for real. But you're old. I see you got a knee brace over your pants. So if you got a knee brace over your pants, you know something. I might punch when you hit me with some. <laughs> he had a knee brace over his pants, not not like under where it's like covered. Over. Yeah. Hey, look, hey, he's dangerous. Yeah, he keep on, yeah, he's and he had dangerous. a dog with him. Yeah. Probably trained him to probably, six certain people. Probably strapped too. Hey, yeah, he probably had some on, on on him in there, ready to get at somebody. Yeah. But the thing is, he thinks. That with him having that disability, that he has full access. Which, to be fair, a lot of that room is so that if you got wheelchairs and things like that, they didn't have enough space. You know what I'm saying to get to their destination without having to worry about cars coming. Yeah. So to be fair, yeah. but you're not gonna have a bike take up an entire lane. Yeah. An entire parking lane That's for so one bike. Small bike. Come on, bro. Yeah. Like, so, it, 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 like, I, I, I high key have to say he was not only wrong, but how he approached the situation where he didn't own up as a man to say I was wrong. My bad. I'm going to take my dumb on because I needed my own business. Instead of doing that, he wanted to get at you. Now, if someone like me was out there, it could have went way, way, way differently for him. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Or someone like he was out there. It could have went way, way, way differently for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'd have caught a knee. Yeah. Elbow. Real more tight. You know what I'm saying? But it's a good thing that we that it's not us in those situations. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna dumb down or like um um try to like uh uh make it better. Is what it, like I'm not gonna make it, anybody feel better. Based off of the like me lying to make you feel better or or saying it a certain way, make, I'm gonna tell you the truth and how I choose to give it to you. Yeah. The truth is the truth, no matter what. Yeah. I'm I'm my own person. I'm not your slave. I'm not your AI. I'm not your robot. I'm me. Yeah. You feel me, nigga? We wasn't born at the same time either. Like we didn't, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm I'm, I'm me. I'm my own person. I went through my own struggles. Yeah. You feel me? Just like you did. But at the end of the day, you need to know that like. Everybody's reaching the same end goal yep. of of living a prosperous, uh, seamless life. Yep. You know what I mean? But but then you have knuckleheads that are going through certain things, like old boy, the old man, where he he escalated something that did not even. He's gonna talk to you crazy. It didn't even need to go there though. It like bro, I, like I, I, but they were. I'm sure they were out there for like 45 minutes to an hour over something that they probably do all the time. Something, something and it's just do. one ignorant cuck jumps out the car on him. He he jumped out the car on him. Two feet tall. Two feet That's tall. What it is. <laughs> yeah. Built like a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he for real was built like a dwarf from this? Lord of the Rings, dog. Like. The, you know the uh, little things with the beards and yeah. stuff inside of the mountains and stuff? Yeah, he, from the yeah. Hobbit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Built like a dwarf. So. I, I, high key, just when you watch and stuff like this, just keep in mind that there are consequences to your actions. Yep. All actions have a consequence, whether it is positive or negative. There's going to be a consequence. Just make sure how you handle that situation is the best for you and suitable situation for you. Yep. All right. So, uh, my brother, my brother, that's my uh, uh, take on the video. Great take. Where can they find you at? Shoot, I'm going to keep it short and sweet for y'all. Y'all can find me on Instagram, KIT underscore FIST0. Uh, if you want to see content in regards to playing drums, working out, Muay Thai, 
follow me, engage, hop in one of the lives. I'm there. I engage with fans. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Hit me up. Um, uh, make sure y'all subscribe to him. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you exactly. go and follow him, my boy, Bravi So Speaking of which, where can they find you at, my brother? Appreciate you, my man. Yep. Make sure y'all go follow him. And y'all can also follow me at I am Bravioso, B R A V, as in Victory, I O S O. Uh, also, go purchase my album physically at strictly the number four, T H E F A N Z dot com. Make sure y'all go get the physical copy. Y'all go get the uh, um, Fuck It All. Big headed me, but it's a little version of me. Limited edition. Then we got um, a six foot cutout for y'all. Make sure y'all get some of the merch uh, and 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 tap in with your boy, man. Come show some love and support. Come uh, to the shows. And we'll it, we'll update y'all on the events uh, sometime soon. But what else we got coming? We got quite a few things. We got skits. Whew. We got merch. Whew. You know what I'm saying? Social medias. Woo. Engagement with fans. We got a fan service soundtrack coming. Ha <laughs> ha! That's going to be oh, gay. Man. Y'all don't even know the type of stuff we got coming. It's but hit, make man. sure you stay tuned. Yep. Make sure y'all follow. Yep. Engage with both of us. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Hit that noty bell. This is fan service. So we got y'all every which way it goes, man, for life. For sure.